morning. Beautiful day up here in northeast Maine. The wind has died down, the sun is out, and it's probably 65 degrees. And we picked up two more sheets of drywall because we are going to put them up there. Tried using the paper, didn't work out too well. But last night I got this whole wall taped. I do a little spot up there and all the ceiling on this side taped up. So we're gonna sling some drywall. And we're gonna close this in. I'm gonna put insulation in here. Insulation up there, we're gonna put a piece of drywall over that and put the door in. And then we might work on the wood stove. So let's open this door, because it's nice out. All right, let's get to work. That, that corner down there, I guess it don't matter. Wherever you want to put it, pick one, it's the same distance. I got the drywall up there. That's just to hold the insulation from falling down. And we got it around the door. And we're gonna hang this door. 
That way I'll be able to seal this upstairs off from the basement. And I think we're going to work on the hearth for this. At least get it started. Uh, yeah. So let me go find this door and get it in here. Be right back. Might be when you put a screw in it, it might pull it down. Yeah. Yeah. Top, top looks fairly good. Just wondering why it's not shutting all the way. I guess maybe it is. Oh, stupid pot. Put a screw in there. Where are they? All right, we got it laid out. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's going to come off the wall out to here. 45, come across the front, another 45, and go back. We're going to build this. We're going to plane uh, some of that rough cut cedar down, make it nice and smooth. We're just going to do this part so I can get my wood stove in here then sometime over the winter. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I got a line right there. Go back there, I'm gonna build this out and fill that full of rock. And the same thing over on this side and back. It's gonna come up somewhere in that area, but that's fine. That way I can stack firewood there and there. I got a place to stack it. I think that'll look good, I'll probably wind up 45 in these corners also this one this one that one and that one i'll 45 those not as big as that and i think that'll make it look good i think them flat rock in there will make it look good we got to build it up i think three inches i gotta go down and measure i got rock board dura rock that's going down first and then i'm gonna put probably a bag maybe a bag of half a concrete in there reinforced and then i'm just gonna go get some cement and i'll just lay the stones in there i'll get four good sized ones that go under the feet go under the feet and then i'll just start filling them in those with those flat rocks i think that'll look good i think it will worst comes worse i tear it out <laughs> but Give me a couple day project because we got to build the hearth, the wood, and then we got to put the rock board in there and then put a little bit of concrete and I got to put rock board on the back wall also. I'll probably come over to here, over there, because I'm going to put some of that corrugated metal back there. So I think that'll look good. And then I'm going to put wood going up the wall. All right, let's get down in the basement, make some noise and some sawdust. So we got the base cut, and I'm gonna run some one by three and a half cedar around it. I was gonna put the rocks up like that. Well, on the edge, now you really can't see it. But that's gonna make it hard to do my flooring whenever that happens. So we're gonna try to cut these on 22 and a half and get the outside frame built and uh, get that going. So we're gonna go down and mess with this saw because it's cutting out a little bit of a weird angle. So let me see if we can adjust this. All right, be back in a minute.
Okay. So, you all tell me what you think. Not too bad. I mean, it's just sitting in here, it's not nailed. And then, I'll be taking rocks, building it up to about like so. so I think that'll look good. Come right across, and then my stove will sit on top of that. I got a whole bunch of different size rocks, but I'm not going any bigger than that. I'll put the big ones under the feet, and then I'll work my way around it. So, I don't have any nails for my finished nailer. So we're probably at a standstill with that. So what time is it? The neighbor guy is back. One lives about a mile off the road. It's five o'clock. Maybe we'll grab something to eat and then we'll head down to his place. But that's probably gonna be it for today. I'll come back in here tonight. Maybe do a little bit of video and of me putting a wonderful tape up, but it's got most of this most of the gap sealed. I've got a piece over there. Alright. We'll be back in a bit. <laughs>